Good morning and welcome to Singer's Journal. So just a few quick things. Um, today is Tuesday, January the... I want to make sure I say this right. I think it was the 5th, 9th. Today is the 9th. Okay, um, and I'm headed to work. And as far as what I am doing for the week to prepare myself for the week when it's musical stuff... I am getting frustrated again with my reflux. And it's like the third one. I've talked about reflux, but it is a big deal. When you experience it every day, it is a huge deal to have to figure out what to do and what to eat and what not to eat and, you know, how you lay down. It's just too much to think about. And though I do like the habit of not eating right before bed, because that's a good thing, um, not to shove your face with stuff right before you go to sleep because your digestive system, you know, give it time to do what it needs to do before you really kind of lay out. I get that, and I do like that, but it's just, it's really, really frustrating. Yesterday, I dealt with it um, with with lunch, and I didn't want to have to keep taking my papaya enzymes as much as, because I think what it tells you to do is take three tablets before three meals. But I typically eat like five meals, being honest, because I try not to eat a lot of... I don't eat until I'm like over the brim full. When I start to feel slight fullness, I stop. So that it doesn't overfill my stomach, which again will produce the reflux coming back up. Because I just overfill the food. So I do kind of eat in small chunks so that I don't have to worry about it coming back up. I can't eat papaya enzymes every stinking time that I you know eat something and I try to do the chewing gum and the chewing gum does work somewhat too I'm not gonna say it doesn't but I'll be chewing the mess out of that gum too buddy <laughs> I mean going through chewing gum like it's just water just okay and I don't want to have I mean I don't mind doing the chewing gum somewhat but it's just too much to do every single time it's ridiculous so I did some research last night and you know I think what I'm going to probably do is try to find a acid reflux diet if you will or rather try to focus more on doing holistic eating and um vegan um, for 21 days of prayer at my church i'm definitely going to be not eating meat that is the one thing that i know that i'm going to work my best not to do during the 21 days that we're doing a lot of churches do this um really as a a way to hear from God and not really focus on what your physical you know wants are at the time but you really d can hear God's voice a little bit more clearly when you're depending on him to get you through a craving or depending on him to get you through something that's really tempting you so I will I'm giving up meat and that's that's easier said than done because it's it's something that all of us most of us have grown up to do quite frequently is to eat that meat so it's really difficult not to want to have a freaking burger or to have pork chops or to have chicken it's really hard not to be eating those different kinds of things but I'm going to do that for 21 days and maybe even further than that over the summer I did go vegan literally vegan for three weeks and I messed up my veganism <laughs> Chick-fil-a <laughs> and you know ever since then it ain't been vegan there have been some days where I was vegan, so like I could be vegan for like a day or two, but after that, I gotta go back to the meat. So I gotta stop that, or I am gonna stop that rather, personally for me. Um, I'm not gonna get into my whole spiel about veganism and vegetarian and why I'm deciding to do this and why I even decided to do it over the summer. I'm not gonna go into that right now. I may do that later on. But with all that said, it is a lot of vegetable, it's really vegetable based, it's really fruit based, which are really good things that your body wants, they need it rather. Um, and another thing that I may be limiting myself on is sugar. And I mean like the obvious sugars. Everything that we eat pretty much breaks down into glucose or sugar anyway, but I mean like Oreos and candy and you know, just stuff like that. Cookies, brownies, stuff that I really indulge or love to do. I'm going to limit that. And I mean limited. Probably not be sugar-free, but limited. So maybe do one sh like sugar a day and then off. Sugar a day and then off. That way I will be able to kind of balance how much I'm getting in. And I know 
what sugar I wanted to eat. Like I went out and bought a key lime pie, which is so silly <laughs> for me to do. Cause I love key lime pie and I do love cheesecake. Um, and I shouldn't have brought the whole pie. I should have just bought slices, but I brought the whole pie. So I'm really going to have to display some self-control when it comes to eating a tiny slice. It's full of saturated fat, though. I noticed that, and I was like, oh, my goodness. That much saturated fat? And one piece of key lime pie? My gosh, my polar arteries just ain't going to be able to take it. All that doggone saturated fat. So, anyway, we're going to have to cut back even more because I know I eat stuff with fat in it all the time anyway throughout the day but god in one slice mm -hmm. so we're gonna be thinking through that one and what the sweet will be but it will likely be that because at least I know that's what I'm going to eat that's gonna be sweet and I can uh, decide on how much I want to use for that and not like venture off and get some other stuff that I know is just completely even worse than that so we know that that's gonna be a, the case um, just so that I don't keep rambling on and on with the video, the things that I'm trying to do musically are accomplished musically now. I know that AMTC is back there, and AMTC is Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ. Now, I've been involved in trying to do this for like 10 years, and the first <laughs> pretty much 10 years was because I couldn't afford it. It was super expensive, and I did have to take out loans to try to get it paid off, um, so I finally got to a point where I'm able to do it. Now I just have to get the hotel and stuff uh, to get ready to be paid for and all of that and travel and food and all that to be paid for to go to this. Uh, it's pretty much like a conference or a expo, if you want to call it that, for talent, different areas of it. And then basically talent scouts will be there. So it's just an opportunity, if you will. But again, it's taken me a long time to do this. So I have to decide specifically the categories are songwriting that I want to do just regular singing which I'll sing someone else's stuff and then um acting those are the three things that I want to do for the competition or the expo so I'm thinking about that and then I'm thinking about what aspect in my church I want to be a part of because right now I do sing background vocals for my worship team and there's nothing wrong with background vocals. I'm actually grateful for the opportunity and the chance to do that. However, I feel like there is a season or the season now is for me to get the opportunity to lead in some perspective with worship. And um, I really just don't know when that will happen. There's a lot that I, I'm not going to say about it. I think that... Um, you know, in time, I guess I'll be able to talk about it. But let's just say that, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how that's going to even be taken a part of. And then um, I'm going to be learning the guitar. Stinking fingers hurt from yesterday because it hurts. But I'm going to be learning guitar to use as a part of worship. And then, of course, continuing to do better at the piano. So that it can also be a part of my worship. So with those things done, I mean, that's a lot of stuff that I'm, I've already said. Those are the things I'm focusing on. So I'm really trying to focus on and put my attention on those things. So that in my worship, I don't have to just be put on or stuck to singing. And there's nothing wrong with singing. But a lot of times when you want to create, I'm not... I wish I was as tech savvy when it comes to like computer programs and making your own music. But... Yeah, that's not my strength. If I got a piano and I can play it well, or if I got a guitar and I can play it well, I'll be able to create more songs that way because it's like me individually learning this. I'm already familiar with what the chords are. I'm already familiar with how to write or notate the music. So it's just a matter of praying and asking God to put into my mind and my heart the right chords or the right passing tones or the right things within the song that will do well with the lyrics, and most importantly, be able to impact someone's life positively. Um, so that's pretty much it for now. Thank you for looking at this, and I will talk to everybody later. Bye.